Hi everybody. Um, I've been just doing a bit of a look back at things. I did that with my embroidery a couple of weeks ago. I made a video, you might remember that. Today I've been looking through the work from my last class to see if there's anything I can improve on or add to. And these papers are the papers that I use for my little books that I've recently, hang on a minute, sorry, that I've recently sold. I need to make some more. But what I've got here are prints that I've done the same thing to. And the prints of images of this work, not this particular sheet, but this collection of work that I put together in my last class. And you might think this is pretty crammed, and it actually is, but there's always room for improvement because what you need from these is just to have stored here as much information as you could possibly get. Um, so on here, I've got Liberty Fabrics, I've got torn papers from a magazine, I've then got references to the Liberty Fabrics, I've got references to the threads that I've used, um, colour studies for threads, a few little paint marks to try and colour match with paint. I don't do a lot of painting um, at all. I, you could say I do zero painting because you can't really call that painting, but it's just an extra enhancement and an extra bit of information regarding colour. And everything on here is stitched down. There's no glue or anything here. I'm very glue averse. So that's how the bat looks. Okay. Um, so I, what I wanted to do is because these papers are prints of the work from this collection was to see if I could do something with these to just enhance this a little bit. I've got white space. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can have white space. Um, but there is white space to play with here. So if I tear and just play a little bit with putting these on, I don't think it'll spoil this. Um, I don't think that will happen. I think it will enhance, even if not hugely. Can you see where I'm putting these? Yeah. And then I'll stitch them down when I've decided um, on placement. Um, it's just a little bit of added information, isn't it? And it adds more interest. And I'll use these sheets. I'll come back and refer to these sheets many, many times in the future. So anything else I can add to this is going to be a bonus. Now this one might be a bit big for there. And you know what, I never throw in even these little bits, tiny bits, I keep them. Because, so if I add that one there, this one perhaps, probably won't put it in there, but if I add another space on a different sheet, uh, it might go there. Yeah, okay. So I've still got a bit of space over there. Yeah. And this kind of thing, you might think, oh, see, she's doing that really easy. She's not like umming and ahhing and it's just coming into place. It's just practice and experience. I'm going to change that one. Put that one there, I think. Um, so don't, I wouldn't fix anything down until I was sure that it was okay. Now, I actually think it's okay now. I'm thinking there, but maybe it doesn't really need anything there. Because if then if I do there, then I've got to do here, and then, do you know what I mean? So for now, I'm happy with that placement, and then what I do, and I'm going to have to get up now, I'm very sorry about this, um, just give me a second. Take a picture, take a picture of this, with those pieces there, then as I move it to attach those, I'll... Uh, have a reference to go back to to remind me. Yeah, to remind me of where they go in case they move. So when I say I tie them on, I literally tie them on. I don't um, glue them. Da -da -da -da. So which one? They're all going to move when I do this. So that's why I've took that picture. I'm going to do this one first because this one's going to need two ties. So I literally make my hole first from the front and go to the back. 
there's no knot in this thread and go down again now I'm going to have to flip this to tie it so all these are going to fall off so I'll just move them um, hence the photograph and just simply tie it on this is cotton abroad that I'm using I don't use any kind of special thread so Now there's another piece of that. Some of them will only require one tie, but this one, it's got this moving bit, this wispy bit. This will need a couple, so I'll need to put one through that now. Oh, I'm full of a cold. I've had this cold for what seems like forever. It doesn't want to shift, it's a nuisance. And then go down again. Turn it over. And tie it. So that's that one secured now. Um, but I do need to spend quite a bit of time stitching papers because my stash is running low, especially with the white ones. Um, so I might do that this afternoon actually so there that's that one attached, securely attached now and it's not I mean if you glue you could put a dab of glue in the middle and it wouldn't be flush to the paper but if you can imagine if it was really really heavily glued into place it wouldn't have any movement the wispiness would be lost I think so that's another reason why I think um, tying it on is the way to go. 